All right, we're gonna make some Poe Man dimple dyes or DIY dimple dyes. Something uh, anybody can do to get that dimple dye effect that uh, they wanna do for their custom application. Here we have, <clears throat> this is a two inch galvanized uh, pipe cap. Inch and a half galvanized pipe cap. Inch and a quarter galvanized pipe cap. And a one inch galvanized pipe cap. <clears throat> Three eighths carriage bolt. Half inch carriage bolt. 5H carriage bolt. Sit tight and uh, show you guys how to do this. Oh, yeah, and you're gonna need a grinder with a 40, 60, 80 grit flap disc. So, what we're gonna do with the die grinder is see how this is a, a rough texture, right? You got the crease in the middle. You got these nipples on the ends. You got a sharp edge here. And you got all these casting marks around the edge here. You're gonna take the die grinder and you're gonna smooth all this out. Not so much on the two inch because unless you've got a three inch galvanized cap, the two inch is our final because when you ground down your inch and a half, it'll actually fit right down in there perfectly probably catch on to what's going on just with that motion there so the two inch we don't have to worry about the back we're just going to do the rim here bevel it here and i may actually have to break out my uh my pneumatic die grinder with a stone and get that right that one's got a hell of a lip on it some of these don't that one's actually beveled a little bit Oop, out of frame that one's beveled a lot of it so that won't take much work at all and then on top of your your 5h carriage bolt here we're gonna grind the the letter smooth and get that head smooth so that's what we're gonna do with the die grinder it all makes sense a minute when you see me pick back up all right so i haven't got a hold of the inside of this yet as far as the bevel but i did get a hold of it in terms of the surface there you see there's all the casting marks are gone okay all right now this I've taken all the nipples off of it and this thing does not want to focus today right here let's try this All right, so I've taken all the nipples and the writing and scribing off of this. There was a nipple there. There was like a UL logo, um, casting time, casting number. Anyway, ground all that off. Ground the casting marks off the face of it. Now pay close attention when you do this and make sure you get your edge decent. It ain't gotta be perfect, but remember the better your tool for making the marks, the better your results are gonna be. This one's pretty spot on. I think I got this one pretty good. I may clean it up with a file or something, but I think it's good. So, you would lay that on your working surface. After you've punched your hole in your sheet metal, you're going to center it up. And you're going to lay this on your hole. And you're basically just going to tap, 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 tap. And as this taps down, get your dimple so the edge of this is really important so you get a clean round radius on your dimple when you're tapping them in and that's it I'll do a um, I'll do an example video a demonstration of how to use these things um, in this fashion but that's that's pretty much it so you've got your two inch your inch and a half, inch and a quarter, one inch. Now what's awesome about this, I haven't cleaned this one up yet. This one 
is actually the tight fit for this. So once I clean the sides, casting marks off of this one, Mueller, get that off of there, make sure that radius stays. You really don't have to mess with that radius. You just gotta knock these nipples off. And then this one actually fit really tight. So you'll have a really, really tight dimple using that one. This one is actually set up to go inside of this one for a tight dimple. you bevel this one there's another tool and die or if you want a fatter dimple you can use your your two inch with your inch and a quarter and give you a fatter dimple now another thing you can do find your center on these here and here drill you a 3 8 hole go pick you up like a, a six inch 3 8 bolt and you can actually take and make these almost a vice to where when you put them where you want them in your metal, you put a, a wrench on one end, electric impact on the other, and just, just run it down, and it'll press these together as far as deep as you want, and you can pull back out, you know, and you'll have your, you also have your dimple die pattern. Now, when you get down to smaller sizes, well, here's your one inch galvanized cap, here's your five eighths carriage bolt, if you look, I don't know if you can see that, that sits almost perfectly flush in there. So there's your shallow one, and then you can switch over to say your your inch and a quarter there. There's your deep dimple. See that there? Now another thing that I was shown on YouTube, let's roll over here to the toolbox, is 12 point sockets. So. You can take, the camera's horrible, my bad. Take your 12 point socket, take your 3 8 carriage bolt, and then there you go. There's another way to make smaller dimples. Lay your metal, center it up, tap, tap, tap with a hammer. You've got it. I'll finish this video with a demonstration, enough talking about it, and uh, show you guys the finished product. All right. I spared you guys all the beating and banging, plus I have no way to hold a camera while I work. But there's uh, there's some examples of the uh, dimple die. So we'll take an example. This one here was the two inch cap with the inch and a quarter cap. Basically, center your hole. You know, when it's flat metal, then you're gonna take this one center over the hole as well you're going to take that 5 8 carriage bolt or you can get nipples for these with another cap I mean depends on how you want your tooling and then basically put on a solid surface and you can see where I've hammered the carriage bolt there and a couple good wax and that's what you end up with pretty clean so big hole was done with that one this one was done with this one, so again, center your hole, and then I just use the straight carriage bolt right there. Tap it down in there, forms it up nice. That's that. Small one here was a unit bit drill bit and a regular carriage bolt and a socket. Couple taps, that's what you get. So there you go. DIY dimple die seemed to be a success and uh, hope it helps some of you guys out.